A Wichita teenager is safe tonight after authorities found her in Texas with a man who they say was selling her for sex. The girl was reported missing several weeks ago. Kate Stephanie Manici tells us how he and others are learning luring children into their traps. The victim had been communicating with the man through instant messaging and social media. Not an uncommon way of sourcing their victims. We're seeing a ton of online exploitation, especially with our young people. And especially with kids, this is really usually how it starts. ICTSOS supports survivors of exploitation and human trafficking. Executive Director Jennifer White says sex trafficking is something underreported and not very well understood in many places. She says people think this activity mainly happens in large cities, but predators have found their way to smaller towns. We know that this is happening in every community across the country. So much of it is driven um, online that it's not necessarily concentrated geographically in certain areas like maybe it used to be. The victim told police Christopher Mitchell picked her up in Wichita and drove her to Austin. Mitchell told officers he knew the girl was 16 and they had sex multiple times. White says it's important as a community to look at relationships teens have, whether romantic or just friends. She says trafficking happens everywhere to anyone. We see kids that are in our schools, that are in our youth sports programs and our mentoring programs and our churches, um, adults that have been exploited since the time they were kids. Stephanie Manici, Cake News on your side.